Hey everyone, welcome back to part three. So if this is the first video you've seen, I recommend checking out the other two where we set up the pickup interactable stuff. So you can actually interact with an object based on what controller or what hand you've got it in. Then the second one we cover setting up the position. So when you grab an object, it actually moves to the correct location and putting in our pinball gun. So you can see here. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to set up our projectile and we're going to have our gun fire it. And if we've got time, we might actually set up a auto fire. So when you hold it down, it continuously shoots. And then when you release, it stops. So before we go too far, I'm going to just jump right in. So first thing we need to do is set up a new blueprint. We're going to right click, go to blueprint class, we're going to go actor. I'm going to call this BP underscore paintball. I'm going to call this underscore paintball or I'm going to call this BP underscore paintball underscore all one because we could have two with different colors. I'm going to open this up. And for now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a component and I actually want to add a sphere collision. And then we're going to add a static mesh. So this sphere will actually come in handy when we cause damage later on, which we'll do in the next video. And for now, we just want to select our static mesh and set our paintball. So chances are you doing something else, there'll probably be a bullet. And then we're going to set our sphere collision just so it's around the object. Excellent. So with both of those in, we're then going to add a component and we're going to search for projectile movement. And with this selected, we want to set our initial speed to 2000 and our max speed to 2000. You can play around with these values and you'll get different different effects, but for paintball, these seem to work pretty well. And then I'm also going to do should bounce. Hit compile and save. And now what we can do is if we actually br bring this into the scene and disable that, when I hit simulate, you see the bullet actually fires, which is exactly what we're after. And now what we need to do is set up our weapon so it actually spawns. And to do that, we're going to go to a paintball gun. And what we need to do is actually add an arrow reference. So we can choose whereabouts on the, the gun it spawns. To do that, we're just going to go to add component. We're going to search arrow. And it's a bit big, so we'll bring the size down. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to position this just in front of the barrel. So I think that should be about right. Looks good. So if we go back to our event graph, we're going to delete our print strings because we know these work from our previous videos. And what we're going to do is just to test it is we're going to drag off and we're going to search spawn actor from class. So we've got spawn actor from class. We're going to select our paintball. And while we're here, we're going to set collision handling to always spawn, ignore collisions. And then we're going to need to set the spawn, the spawn transform. To do that, we're just going to get the arrow. We're going to get world transform. And we're going to plug that into our spawn transform. So now if we hit compile and play. We can actually go up. We should be able to pick up our gun still. And if we press the triggers, we can actually fire our little bullets. So that's pretty much it. For that, how much time have we got left? Oh, so we've only been going for five minutes. So, okay, let's go a little bit further and we'll make a auto fire. It really might take a little bit longer, but I'm probably going through this pretty fast. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect this spawn a minute and we need to do some stuff at the beginning. So I actually want to be able to give the option to choose whether you can auto fire the weapon or not. So think of it as like an unlockable but you have control of it. So we're going to create a variable. We're going to call this can auto fire. With a question mark. We're going to bring this in and we're going to do a get. And then we also need a branch. So we're going to plug that into event. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a sequence. And we're also going to create a date. So I'm doing these without dragging off because we need to set these in a specific order. So I'll plug the true into the sequence and then from then zero, we want this into open. And then the then one, we want this into end. The event stop interact, we actually want to plug this into our close. So we're going to bring this down just to keep it tidy. We need to make sure the gate starts closed, which is exactly what we want. So we're going to do another sequence and this is where we're going to choose our Retriggable delay. I'm doing this off them one, so it's retriggable 
delay. Don't forget you can actually change the speed of how fast projectiles spawn by changing this value here. So I'm going to just keep this at 0.2, I think. And then what we need to do is plug this complete back into the enter. And I'm going to create some reroute nodes just so we can keep this tidy. And then from our zero, we're going to plug that into our spawn actor. And we're also going to do the same thing from our false. So I'm just going to do a reroute. So a period, add reroute node, and then plug that into there as well. So now if this value is true, we hit compile, it will actually create a loop which allows us to spawn multiple projectiles. And then once you release, it stops. But if we set this to true, If we set this to false, we'll then be able to just fire one bullet, which is exactly what we're after. So let's comment this and we'll do auto fire. And then we'll comment this last bit and we'll just call this spawn projectile. I forgot to comment this earlier in the last video, so I'm just going to select this all and I'm going to do set, set actor we can see it location and rotation so now we hit compile and we jump on over to our project we can come in here we can still pick up our guns we can shoot them only once because we didn't put auto fire on so if we now change that variable to true hit compile again hit play then we can actually jump in pick up our guns, and if we hold the triggers down, they continue fire, which is actually super fun. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can head on either into the comment section below or jump over to the Discord, which I'm probably in there a little bit more. And we've got a really good community going on at the minute, so be nice of you to join. If you do want the project files, then they're available through Patreon if you just don't want to set it up yourself. But what we'll do in the next video is I'll actually show you how you can cause damage and apply damage using these projectiles for different things. So until next time, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.